Tennessee into course algebra one practice test question number eight. Uh, this is an adding multi uh, polynomials question so it's really simple I'm gonna write it out a little bigger just because I like to be able to see it in this form and I can mark it up a little better these are kinda of squished there's a couple ways you can do this one I'm proud of and the other I'm probably not since this is adding all I can do remember when you work with exponents exponents get one less operation than anything else it's almost like they can't be touched by the based operation well these uh, terms or the monomials are being added there's nothing below adding and subtracting so there's nothing you do the poly or the exponents so you keep them so I'm gonna do m to the third power I'm actually gonna mark them up three lines for m to the third two lines for m squared one line for m and that's it. My m to the third power, I'm just going to keep. Uh, I've got 2m squared plus 1m squared, which is 3m squared. Negative 1 plus 4 is uh, 3m. And I know they're the same because they only have one line under them. You may want to use like shapes or whatever catches your fancy. And then there's only one uh, in integer term, so negative 2 or a constant term. So that's one way I can do it, and that would be, let's see, G for this one. Also, if you are a calculator type and you know how to use this method, you can hit X and see that it's not equal to zero. Uh, there is a video where I do flip it back in case you don't remember how to get it to something else. It's basically like graph something. I usually do 3X plus 5. And then I just type in the answers, except I use x as opposed to the uh, variable. This only works if there is a single variable in. It is totally useless mathematical trick. Usually I do it all in one line. I just happen to hit the, the button there. It doesn't really matter. I'm looking for 5, 3, 2, 8. And I said it's g, so I should be able to plug this in. Five three two eight. Now, if you tried one of the other ones, for instance, just to prove that it doesn't work, if an, if the answer is wrong, see, it gives you different answers. The numbers are totally irrelevant. You're just looking for a match, and eight uh, matches. The top of this matches to G, so you know that G is the correct answer. So that's number eight.